Hey everybody, it's Mike and welcome to Chip Damage. And today we're gonna to be unboxing something very special. We will be unboxing Max Factory's new Figma, the Demon Souls Fluted Armor Knight. Yes, those of you who have seen some of my prior videos on the channel will know that I'm a massive fan of the Souls series. Last year I went through a playthrough of uh, all the main games from Demon Souls to the Dark Souls trilogy and Sekiro. And uh, in particular, I really love the Demon Souls remake on PS5. I think it's one of the best PS5 exclusives out there. I ended up putting a ton of hours into that game and platinuming it. And uh, when I saw that uh, Max Factory is going to be doing a Figma of the cover art armor, the, the knight on the cover of the game, I needed to have it, especially with some of the uh, advertised accessories that this bad boy comes with. So before we jump into the video, let me just get the YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. And without further ado, let's begin, shall we? So yes, guys, this recently arrived on my doorstep, uh, and I am super excited to be unboxing it with you. And as you could tell, this is already a beautiful box. Uh, you have the just the knight in the fluted armor. This is officially the fluted armor PS5 Figma, as it's called. Um, and there is Sony branding like all over this. Uh, I just, I love that pose. Um, and let's like right there, you see like Sony Entertainment. Demon Souls is a trademark of Sony Interactive Entertainment. And on the side here, you can get a preview of a, a couple of the accessories in there. You could already see the Great Moonlight Sword, the shield on the back, fluted armor, PS5. Like yet again, that's the official name of this. Uh, this would be product number 590, the fluted armor, PS5 Knight. And like I said, there's Sony branding all over this. You get to see some of the accessories previewed here that we'll be checking out. The various blades, the shield, some poses. This bad boy comes with a lot. And on the side, this side here, you just get the simple uh, Figma logo and the, uh, the Demon Souls logo as well. So yeah, let's start opening it up, shall we? And yeah, yet again, it's strange that this took so long to come out. Demon Souls is like, you know, coming out with 2009 and in particular this release is for the PS5 release, which came back in 2020, but I'm glad it's, this game's getting some extra recognition and ooh, after pulling the slipcase off, yeah, there we go. So we, we have a lot to open up. That thing is buried in plastic. It's going to take a while to get in there, but before we do that, let's look more at the box. You have the armor knight on the side. There's the top with him posing some more. Bottom, same pose. Side, different pose. Him swinging the blade, looking cool. Same uh, image from the side from earlier. The back, same images that is on the outer slip case. I just love that this box had an outer slip case. Like I will say, that's a beautiful case to display it on if you do decide to keep it in the box. But I am not. We're opening that. So we're going to get handy dandy Mr. Box Cutter to open this up right here. And very carefully pop that. And before I go too much further, uh, for us in the U.S., this game, this uh, game, this figure, uh, the retail price was $110, which is high. Like Figma's are, are usually pretty high quality figures, and they cost a pretty penny. But uh, for the amount of accessories this is coming with, I think that's that's going to be pretty worth it. Um, maybe you can find it for a cheaper deal. But I bought it officially off HLJ.com, Hobby Link Japan, which was uh, retailing for $110. Before we go any further, let's look at that inner box. Oh, we got like this straight up. Like, first castle, the first area in Boletaria for Demon Souls. That looks sick in the back. That's like the co almost the cover art for the PS5 version of the game, except for there's just uh, enemies at the bottom instead of the main character. That's kind of cool. A cool little backdrop there for the box. It really went all out. Like, the box is great for this. This is a nice part of the purchase. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this bad boy. So we're going to very carefully, because you can see there's a quite a few number of accessories there. We're going to very carefully open this out. Nothing goes flying, which is off the case when the figure comes with a ton of accessories. Is there any tape around this? Nope. Right, any accessories on this sheath here? Nope. Okay, so let's see this guy, shall we? Pulling the plastic. Plastic is attached to nothing. It's not. All right. He's got his, uh, this plastic covering every single inch of him it is like in every joint which is good i mean you know they, they're protecting all the joints and the moving parts of the figure but man this stuff there's no really great way to get it off other than just ripping it off and moving moving the joints around so let's slowly do that so i don't damage anything something very sharp in the back all right you can already tell this is a very detailed figure quite beautiful let's get this off shall we so there's not a great way to get all this off other than just pulling it off which feels a little crass but 
Let's do it. But I really don't want to damage this, obviously, in the process. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, Demon Souls in particular. I mean, I loved all the Souls games. I really couldn't rank them. Like, it kind of goes all over the place. But the more gothic and kind of, like, meaner atmosphere of Demon Souls, particularly the remake, really stuck with me. I know I have played the original. I know a lot of people prefer the art style of the original. I think it's just as good in the remake. I think it's just a little different. Um, that game's still gorgeous. Like, it's probably the best looking PS, or at least one of the best looking PS5 games. It being an exclusive, all didn't really have to, like, hold back for the PS4 release or anything like that. And we're almost done. God, this guy's got a lot of plastic on him. Every joint. And this is definitely going to be going on display. Right next to my uh, Bloodborne Figma, which came out quite a few years ago. I hope the other, there's more, like, from, like, so, uh, from software releases from Figma. They really do a good job with these and the accessories. All right, last part. And we've already gotten a pretty good look at this figure with me spinning them around in the plastic, but let's get a nice close-up. So right away, you could see this thing is detailed like you couldn't believe. Look at that. Like the design on everything from the helmet. Oh man, this is beautiful. Obviously, this thing is very articulated, um, but the real star here is like the detail on the armor is just fantastic. Look at all these little accoutrements that he has, the bag, this uh, little like skirt, like his uh, ring around his hip is pretty loose. I don't think that comes off, uh, but it spins around, a little chain mail. It feels good. It's actually like ridge. That's not like one like piece. That's good there. Oh, boy, don't, like, look at this. Look at the detail even on the boots. That looks fantastic. Yeah. It's weird seeing the armor like in bright light just being that um, the game itself is so dark even on the cover. You got the straps all the way down to the boots. <laughs> you even got the straps under the shoes. Like they actually go underneath. That's a nice little touch of detail. You'd never see it, but man, this is a really nice little figure. Decent weight. How tall is this guy? It's light, but it's the joints feel good. They don't feel loose. Like whatever I pop it in, it's not going to loosely flap around. I could already tell. Um, yeah, it, everything kind of stays in place. So, but how tall are you? Handy dandy Mr. Tape Measure here will help out with that. So you're looking at about six inches. You're looking at about six inches, if I'm not mistaken. Six, uh, six and a half, just about. Um, not a bad size figure. It's going to fit nicely on the shelf. Six, yeah, just about six and a quarter inch there. So yeah, plenty of room on the shelf for this little guy. But let's take a look. While he waits here, we're going to take a look at these accessories that he comes with. What on earth? is this i'm gonna have to fit a handle of some sort i'll check that out in a little bit let's take a look at the blades though shall we your standard sword there nice detail it's not sharp nice little like divot in the center cool design on the blade itself on the hill and on the uh handle there looking cool all right we have more of a short stout sword like a little broader more basic, but still very cool looking. Moving on. How's the shield? Is the shield underneath? The shield underneath the plastic. This shield is sick. Right, you got the dragon design, the wyvern design on the front. Handle on the back. Let's go further in, shall we? One of the greatest things that Figma and that every uh, figure should have, every company should do this come with stands so that oh man look at that we have a lot of accessories to get through but yeah the main thing we're gonna have to open up later are the is the stand that this guy is going to stand on you have looks like six hands looks like a uh extra pole to help him kind of pose oh man there is a lot here it comes with its own instruction manual oh, drop that let's take a look this thing has a multi-page instruction manual. Oh, dear God. Look at all that. 
this is a lot of plastic boys this is a lot of material for what i paid for it what else we got here because there are a lot more accessories you know what for 100 and i'm starting to see why this was so much money i didn't i knew it came with a lot of weapons it's been a while since i made that pre-order i forgot all that it came with you have this tall tower shield look at that Jesus. Beautifully designed, giving me Tower Knight vibes right there. Very beautiful. We have the same swords from earlier, but sheathed with the scabbard on, and you can't take that off, obviously. I think this is just for the design uh, to match these blades as if you wanted them equipped, but not out, so yeah. We have two versions of the regular swords. This is going to be so hard to put back on the box if I want to. Like, uh, this is going to be rough. But we also have a sheathed version of the long sword. Look at that. Little, like, ridge design on the sheath here. And a shield design on the top of the scabbard sheath there, which is very cool. And then you have... The weapon that I named through my playthrough, because I, I played primarily strength and stamina. I played a big dumb guy, uh, the, the butcher knife, the great blade. Um, I believe, like, I forget, like this was a hard to get weapon. You had to get it from like a certain merchant, um, you know, hidden in the game. And uh, I loved how dumb it was. It was like just this great knife. And look at it. It's got the scars on the blade. Looks fantastic. It's huge. It's uh, roughly the size of, if not longer than the uh figure itself but then we got the piece de resistance the icon of from software games the logo if you will the great moonlit sword uh which has appeared in so many great from soft games this thing is awesome <laughs> this is kind of worth the price of admission right here because whenever i play a from soft game even if i don't need the weapon like you would use it with my build i make sure i get the great moonlit sword it's like a through line there's like uh throughout all the games um, from Otogi, Myth of Demons, uh, Enchanted Arms, Metal Wolf Chaos, Armored Cores. There's always something called the Great Moonlit Sword, and it usually looks just like this. So for many people, this is the Kingsfield from Software Sword. This is the Otogi Sword for me. But uh, yeah, it is going definitely be the one I have on display with our boy right here. But man, um, that's a lot of accessories, guys. This video would be a half hour long if I was to try to, maybe even longer... Try to get everyone, uh, get it all posed. But what I will do, what I will do is get them standing real quick. And uh, what I love is, okay, so all of this stuff, once it, this is not openable. This, you have to cut to get open. It comes with a bag to put all the accessories in afterwards, which is greatly appreciated because this stuff gets lost. So I'm not going to go through all the hands and weapon poses. But I will see if I can get this guy standing for this video. So we're going to get the posable stand and the base. They're each segmented. And there's a tear away at the top, but that usually causes a mess. So I usually cut these open and just pull them out through a small hole. So things don't pop and fly everywhere. And let me tell you, there's a lot of parts here, guys. Like this... This is an impressive amount of accessories for a Figma. Um, they did not cheap out or, or limit you on this. So let's put that there. Let's hope I get this right in the first try and not embarrass myself. Let's see, just to take a look at that base, it says Figma on it. Now, which way is the way that sticks in? It looks to be that way. Let's find the hole in his back, which will pop in very easily right there. What do you guys think, by the way? Like, what's a, what's a series that you'd like to see toys from? Whether it be from Figma, Max Factory, Good Smile, Rebel Tech, like whatever. Like, what's something that doesn't have toys that you want toys of or you want more toys of? Because I'm, I'm thinking the Soul Series with all its creature and armor designs, it'd be so good. What if you had, like, you know, the Ferran armor for Dark Souls 2 or the, um, forget the cover, the hooded armor on the uh, cover of um, Scholar of the First Sin uh, you know, or uh, they have done Sekiro in the past, which is something I do want to get my hands on. 
but I'm hoping uh, to see enemy designs, boss designs. I think they would make fantastic toys if they were to do some of the boss monsters. Like, how cool would it be to have, like, I don't know, Nito, Gravelord Nito is just a figure. Not like a $900 <laughs> first floor statue. Uh, or like some of the dragons, what have you, or, or whatever. Seat the scaleless. But yeah, that was actually very easy to uh, get standing. The base seems to be strong enough and heavy enough to fully support this thing's weight, even if his feet aren't on the ground, which is pretty great. Um, I would probably need to change out his hands to equip most of this stuff. Yeah, it looks it looks to be, like I said, there's over a dozen uh, hands there. And I don't want to fumble around on that in camera and break it. So we're going to probably wrap it up right there. Just with a sh last show of what you're getting with the fluted armor Figma Demon Souls. And since I have a black table, I always find it best to show off things and not lose things by putting down a napkin or paper towel to get like brightness. So you have the knight himself looking sick. He comes with two shields, a tall two-handed shield, which has some serious weight to it. The one-handed shield here. You have the great moonlit sword. You have the great knife. Like great knife, like Silent Hill. That's what I call it. You have the short, come here, short sword. You have the long sword. You have a variant of each that is sheathed. Right there. You have, I'm assuming this is a handle for something. I'm not 100% just yet. I'll probably find out the second or I turn the video off. You also get three extra pairs of hands, so six hands as it were as well as obviously the stand in the figure itself and that's gonna do it ladies and gentlemen the fluted armor knight from demon souls ps5 edition and i must say this is a lot of stuff i'm gonna have a lot of fun posing this thing i'm definitely putting this one out in display probably going with that that, that uh great movement sword and uh yeah let me know do you guys have this are you interested in picking it up do you have any questions that i might be able to answer please let me know in the comments below and i'm always ready to talk some souls with my buddies out there my, my fellow die hard tryhards so thank you for watching my name is mike this has been chip damage and please take care of yourself have a great night everyone